morning everybody as you can see the sun is just coming up it's not up yet those are the lights of Victor that's the gold mine over there on the left my primary goal today was to arrive at the trailhead before that guy and his dogs could get here to chase away all the wildlife and so it appears I have been successful in that now climbing up what Kevin affectionately refers to as Hell Hill because it basically this goes right straight up the side of the mountain. When I get to the top, sometimes I usually find some deer, some elk maybe. A couple of times I've seen a coyote hunting up there. Anyway, if you all wouldn't mind clicking that little icon on your lower side right side of your screen to subscribe to my channel I would really appreciate the help and we'll get back here when I see something at the top all right things are going pretty well I'm almost to the top of hell hill before the sun has cleared the mountains in the east and no sign of my nemesis yet once I get inside those trees up there I'll have to start watching for my friends the deer they often like to graze for grass in that forest and it looks to be a very pretty sunset today I'm glad to be out hiking today because tomorrow by this time it's supposed to be minus nine degrees and snowing so I don't think I'll be too interested in braving that Entrance to the forest and the top of the hill. All right, this is the summit. Unfortunately, there is no sign of wildlife today, but it looks like we are going to have. An amazing scene on the Sangre de Cristos. We get up to the edge of the ridge there. I'll stop and take a break and get some still pictures. You can see that red band in the sky above the mountains. That's the Alpen Glow. It looks like it's going to be a pretty scene today. That Alpen Glow as the sun comes up that band of red across the sky on the other side on the west side comes down and then it will illuminate the mountains in that red color which is what gave the Sangre de Cristos their name the blood of Christ get back with you when they get to the edge of the lookout or the overlook I should say
My second goal for the day is to test out my new little carbon fiber tripod. It's made by Benro. It's called the Tripster. The whole tripod plus the head only weighs three and a half pounds. Folds up to about 16 inches. Should be a perfect little backpacking tripod for me. Here's the tripod on the pack. You can see how nicely that fits on there. Well, that was productive. Got a few minutes, we caught the sunrise and the alpine glow. And I shot a couple of panoramas while we were there. Hopefully those will turn out nice. Now we're on our way back down. Hopefully there will still be some deer or maybe some elk around when we get there. It is a beautiful day up here. As always, I guess, it's hard to find a bad day up here even when it's snowing, it's pretty. So, we'll get back to you if, if I see some elk or some deer. Wow, it is really hard to see how it's going to go from such a nice day to snowing and below zero in one day. Maybe they'll be wrong. They've been known to be wildly wrong with their forecasts up here in the mountains. But I swear right now it's got to be 25, 30 degrees, sun shining. It's amazing.
back to the truck. Some people have asked me why I strapped my backpack in. That's precious cargo. My friend Kevin says that if your backpack's not worth more than your vehicle, then you're not living right. Well, they have had it take a tumble before, so I learned my lesson. Well, that's a wrap. Time to go into the Gold Camp Cafe. Have some coffee and biscuits and gravy. As long as we're here, might as well take a little look around Victor, Colorado. Historic Victor. This is quite a place. It looks like something right out of the 1800s. still have the original billboards painted on the side of these old buildings. Victor almost died a few years ago, but seems to be making a recovery. Happy dog over there. Some of the buildings are still empty. This is a little park with some neat old mining equipment. A couple of ore carts over here. There's a old historic mine up there.
cute little building. It's empty though. 